Welcome to Meta Analysis in R with Metaphor. Uh, I'm going to show you a series of uh, 15 short videos using Metaphor in R to compute a meta analysis. The videos are about how to use the software. They don't explain to you how to use, how to actually understand a meta analysis. So, um, for background, I recommend that you have a course in univariate statistics. So you should know analysis of variance, correlation, and regression, and that kind of stuff. If you don't have that, then you need an introductory statistics course. And you ought to know something about the theory of meta-analysis. So you need to know what sampling error is. You need to understand what I-square and tau and meta-regression and those kinds of things mean. And if you don't already know that, then I recommend that you read the following book by Borenstein and colleagues in 2009 called Introduction to Meta-Analysis. This is a book I use when I'm teaching a course in meta-analysis. Um, Metaphor is a program written by Wolfgang Fichtbauer. And before you start, you want to read or at least skim his paper. And the site is uh, um, Statistical Software 2010. Um, when you look at that, you will uh, see what he has done in his descriptions of it. Um, if you already know R, that may be enough for you. This series of videos is for people who are sort of novices to R and to uh, meta-analysis. So uh, I'm going to give you a sort of concise tutorial on how to run the thing. Uh, in order to get started, you're going to need a computer with an internet connection, and either Windows or Mac will do. I have a Mac, so you're going to see Mac stuff, but Windows is just fine. Um, additionally, there's a website that supports these videos. Uh, it's my website. It contains uh, some of the R code that's used in these videos, so you can download and run the same stuff that I'm doing. There'll be some Excel files with data. There's some PowerPoint slides like this one, and the uh, URL is listed there, faculty, US, CAS, USF, EDU, and Brannock Meta Index. Um, and uh, the website also has some additional materials that I use when teaching a course in meta-analysis. Okay, so here's what's in the videos. Number one is this video, the introduction. Two is getting started, and it talks about how to download and install R and Metaphor. Three it tells you how to upload data from Excel into R, so you can do the meta-analysis. Four talks about preliminary calculations of effect sizes. So you're going to have to have your effect sizes in a common metric before you can run your meta-analysis. And generally, when you go to the literature, that isn't the case. You have to you find things in the literature, and some of them are the same, and some are different. Some are missing. Um, and then, uh, Metaphor has preferred upload formats that have certain benefits to them. And if you can use them, then it's to your advantage. If you can't, it's okay. There's still something called generic input that I'll bring up next. Um, so for computing the overall mean or summary effect size, uh, there are three videos. First is summary estimates for fixed and random models with generic input. So uh, it doesn't matter really as long as you have an effect size and its variance or its standard error, you can input that as generic input and uh, you can run your meta-analysis. Uh, in seven, we'll talk about summary estimates for R, the correlation coefficient, and D, the standardized mean difference when you have preferred input. And eight will be summary estimates for binary data when you have preferred input. Number nine will be about confidence intervals and prediction intervals, how to get those using metaphor. Ten will be how to analyze moderators with metaphor. Then in the video 11, I show you funnel plots. And then I have a series of three different uh, short videos about forest plots. So it's really easy to get a nice looking forest plot with metaphor, but it, it oftentimes won't look just the way you want it. So in video 12, I show you the very basic stuff about uh, how to get one of these uh, in the uh, command lines. And then in 13, I show you how to add labels and customize it a little bit. And in 14, I show you how to add 
subgroups and their uh, subgroup um, effect sizes into your forest plot. And finally, in um, the 15th video, I show you about sensitivity analysis. So we'll look at the impact of availability bias and outliers of bad data, consequential decisions, and uh, you know the things that you can do about that. And that will conclude the series of videos. Now, as I said in the beginning, uh, Metaphor will do things that I don't cover here. If you're a sophisticated user, um, you should be able to go ahead and run this stuff without these videos. If you're a novice, then by the time you get through with these 15 videos, you should be able to go back to uh, Victor Bauer's paper and use the other things that he sh shows you, the, the other um, attributes, the nice things that the program will do without any more help.